This woman always complained how boring her family is, but her life changes when she meets a witch who turns all of them into monsters. Far away from the human population, inside a creepy mansion, there lives a vampire named Dracula. He's the Prince of Darkness, but his life is incomplete without a companion. His servant bats try their best to cheer him up, but Dracula really wants someone in his life. Suddenly his phone starts to ring. It's the first time someone called him and it's definitely a wrong number. A woman named Emma Wishbone called Dracula assuming him as a costume shop owner. Dracula introduces himself and asks Emma to chat with him for a while as he is really lonely. Emma feels sorry for him and agrees to talk, but her mobile phone slips and falls in the drainage. Dracula doesn't give up and believes that this call was fate. He decides to find Emma and marry her. On the other side, Emma gets really frustrated on losing her phone as she can't afford a new one right now. She gets back to her bookstore and tells everything to her friend Cheyenne. She is obsessed with yoga and believes that a good massage will solve all of Emma's problems. Emma feels really done with her life and believes that her family is cursed. Her bookstore is not running well, her son Max is struggling at school despite being a good kid, her daughter Faye is desperate to become an adult and keeps following a popular boy. While her husband Frank never gets home in time because of his never-ending office job, Emma just wants to spend some quality time with her family and bought some costumes as well but doesn't know where they should go. Cheyenne has some tickets to a costume party and happily gives them to Emma. She thanks her friend and rushes home. Emma reminds her family that they are drifting apart and a fun night will recover their relationship. She forces them all to wear the costumes and take them to the party venue. Unfortunately, they reach the wrong place and end up on a stage because the staff mistakes them as a music band. After humiliating themselves, the wishbones are kicked out of the show. Meanwhile, Dracula visits his prison and offers freedom to a witch named Baba Yaga if she turns Emma into a vampire so Dracula can marry her. The witch agrees and heads after Emma, but the spell will only work if the humans are unhappy. As the whole family was unhappy after the unfortunate night, the spell affects everyone, and they all turn into the monsters they have dressed up as. Emma notices Baba Yaga and starts following her. Due to her vampire powers, Emma has developed new capabilities and easily rushes after the witch. However, the witch uses her teleportation spell to escape, but Emma figures out the witch is heading to a place called Oculus Londra. Emma goes back to the theater and collects her husband while her kids have gone somewhere else. Max heads to the playground and meets his class fellow who bullies him at school. Max takes advantage of his werewolf appearance and teaches the bully a good lesson. While Faye goes to meet her crush and asks for his help, but he immediately refuses and shuts the door on her face. The both kids return home and blame their mother for this incident. Emma assures them that she will fix everything and find the witch. But first she needs to figure out where this place called Oculus Landra is located. Luckily Max knows what it means. Oculus Landra is a ferris wheel in London. It was built on an ancient magical site. The witch must be going there to recharge her powers. The wishbones must travel to London. Cheyenne gives them a ride to the airport, and she is also willing to accompany them to London. On the way, Max confesses his desire to stay being a monster. Finally, the bullies are scared of him, but Emma reminds him that the scary people always end up alone because people are afraid to be close to them. After a while, they reach the airport, but they must prove their legal identity. Emma lies that they are dressed for a musical show and Max is just their pet. The receptionist gets suspicious and tries calling the security, but Faye stops her and tells her to let them go. As Faye is a mummy now, she has achieved hypnotizing powers and the receptionist does as she said. They get first-class tickets and head towards the plane. On the way, Faye gets teased by some arrogant girls, but she uses her hypnotizing power to make the girls act like monkeys. Emma warns her not to abuse her powers and remember her true self. Faye doesn't listen to her mother and also hypnotizes the staff on the plane. Then she turns the flight into a party and distributes all the snacks. Everyone is enjoying the food, but Emma is still hungry. As she is a vampire, she needs human blood to survive. She starts running after other passengers and grabs one of them to bite. Suddenly, time stops except for Emma. Dracula appears from the last seat and walks to Emma to introduce himself. He has come here to pick his queen, but Emma refuses to go with him. Dracula reminds her that she is a vampire now. Within a few minutes, she will completely lose her senses for human blood and will eat her own family members. Only Dracula can help her. Emma has no other option, so she agrees to go with Dracula. He throws her out of the plane, and then he summons his jet suit. He is an advanced type of vampire, and he carries Emma to his high-tech plane. Dracula explains to her that she is the first person in a thousand years who cared about his loneliness. Therefore, he has chosen Emma as his vampire wife. He gives Emma a special pill that quenches her thirst for blood. Then he tells her that she was worth the wait. Emma may have a family, but it rarely makes her happy. 
She deserves to be happy all the time and only Dracula can make it possible. They can start a new life in their royal mansion. They will also travel and visit the most romantic places on Earth. Dracula will even take Emma to travel beyond this world and visit the moon and other planets. They can live the life of their dreams. Emma can't believe she is inches close to everything a woman can desire. But now she is not just a woman, she is a mother. Her first priority is her kids and for them she can accept the bad with good. Hearing this, Dracula allows Emma to go back to her family. She is dropped in the river right in front of the bridge where her family is waiting for her. They are really glad to have Emma back, but Dracula isn't going to stay quiet. If he can't get love, then he will not let anyone else in this world have love. Unaware of his dirty plans, Emma and her family rushes to ride the Ferris wheel and look around to find the witch. Baba Yaga finally reaches there and recharges her amulet with a special spell. The wishbones confront her and request her to change them back to normal. When Baba Yaga refuses to do that, Emma tries to steal her amulet, but this enrages Baba Yaga and she casts another spell. She uses her black magic to send the whole family to the middle of the Egyptian desert. Cheyenne gets angry and tells the witch to bring back her friend. Baba Yaga tries to run away, but she accidentally falls and gets stuck on a flagpost. Cheyenne gets the amulet, but she still rushes to help the witch. Baba Yaga gets touched by this act of kindness and tells her story to Cheyenne. She's been held captive for more than a thousand years by Dracula. She was forced to cast the spell on the wishbones, but she can't bring them back. Emma and family will turn back to normal the moment they all feel happy with each other. That is quite impossible when they are stuck in the middle of the desert. Emma tries to cheer them up and assures her family that they will eventually find a way out. They keep walking for hours and get really thirsty. They find an oasis, but it turns out to be just an illusion. Meanwhile, Dracula has brought out a specially engineered snowflake which can turn fire into ice. He plans to make a giant ice crystal and throw it at the sun. Once the sun is extinguished, all life on Earth will end except for the vampires. The wishbones are still walking in circles and almost give up. Faye gets frustrated and blames her mother for putting them in this great misery. Seeing the rude behavior of her daughter, Emma says that her life would be better if she didn't have a daughter like Faye. This breaks Faye's heart, and she walks away. Emma regrets her words and keeps waiting for Faye, but she doesn't come back. In frustration, Emma gets angry with Max and he also decides to leave her. Emma blames her husband Frank for not supporting her. He is always just too busy with himself. It's better if he goes away too. As she says that Frank walks away and Emma is left all alone. Dracula is keeping an eye on them and gets really happy to see Emma leaving her family. He tells his servant Renfield to stop his destruction plan for a while as he's going to give another chance to Emma. She's losing her patience once again and attacks a couple of tourists to suck their blood. Dracula reaches there in time and feeds a capsule to Emma. Afterwards, he takes Emma back to his mansion. Meanwhile, other family members also encounter different incidents. Faye meets an actual mummy who teaches her how to turn into a whirlwind. He admires Faye's beauty and wins her heart. She agrees to stay with him forever, but her decision changes after knowing the mummy's evil intention of conquering the world. So she runs away to Frank has found a bunch of gorgeous models who are looking for someone to help their damaged bus. Frank uses his monster strength to carry the bus to the venue and wins the lady's heart. Max also reaches the same hotel, but everyone is too scared to face him. This reminds him of his mother's advice. Scary people always end up lonely. Both kids rush to their father and ask for his help against the evil mummy. It takes the form of a giant beetle and attacks the kids. Frank gets triggered and unlocks his full strength. He beats up the mummy and throws him away. Meanwhile, Emma has decided to marry Dracula. She gets to live in a giant room full of all the luxuries she can ever imagine. Despite having all the comfort, Emma still misses her family. Even if she has to face miseries, she wants to live with her beloved family. Suddenly, Cheyenne and Baba Yaga teleport there and promise to help Emma. The witch uses her magic to bring the rest of the family members and they plan to take down Dracula. Renfield reaches there and begs Emma to marry Dracula. Otherwise, he will destroy the sun and in turn, all living things will die too. Emma's family doesn't let her sacrifice herself and they plan to defeat Dracula with holy water. They mix water, salt and oil with the sacred balm from Faye's bandages. Emma takes the holy mixture and heads to the place where Dracula is having his special bath that keeps him young. Unfortunately, Dracula notices her in time and uses a pill to make Emma yearn for human blood. She attacks Frank but the power of love brings her back to senses. Dracula gets enraged and throws all of them in the prison. Afterwards, he makes preparations to extinguish the sun. Emma apologizes to her family and explains that she just wanted to spend some quality time with her family. They forgive her and confess how much they love each other. They happily hug each other and the spell breaks. Seeing this, the servant bats also melt and help the family escape the prison. They all head to stop Dracula. 
The bats bite Dracula's fingers, and he can't snap his fingers anymore to use his powers. Emma tells him to give up, but he gets more angry and turns into a giant bat. Luckily, the sun has risen already. Emma instructs her family to pull away the curtains, and Dracula starts to burn in the sunlight. Emma grabs the magic snowflake and freezes Dracula forever. The wishbones are saved. Frank quits his toxic job to spend more time with his family. They even throw a huge party and invite all their friends, including Baba Yaga. Everyone definitely has his own problems, but you should always spare some time for your loved ones. Don't let yourself regret not making enough memories with your family.